So there are two main ways to find the ionic charge for sodium, Na. The first is to look at the trend for charge on the periodic table. You can also look at the electron configuration to figure out the ionic charge here for sodium. Let's look at the periodic table first. So the periodic table, the charge for trend, follows kind of a nice pattern. Group 1, all of these have a 1 plus ionic charge. So when they bond with other elements, they'll lose an electron and form a positive ion. We can see in group 1, right here's sodium. So sodium is going to have a 1 plus charge. Often we just write plus like that. So that's sodium. We can see for group 2, 2 plus, we skip the transition metals in some of these. Then we go 3 minus, 2 minus, 1 minus. And here at the noble gases, the ionic charge is 0. We can look at electron configuration for sodium also to figure out its ionic charge. So here we're just talking about sodium, not the ion right now. So if we look at the periodic table, you can see sodium, it has this atomic number of 11. That means it has 11 protons and it has 11 electrons. So we need to remember sodium has 11 electrons. To write the electron configuration, we'd write 1s, that's the first energy level with an s orbital, that can have 2, that's full, we go to 2s, s orbitals can hold 2, and then next 2p, that can hold up to 6, so we put 6 there. And now the second energy level, we have 2 plus 6, 8. This energy level is full, so we go to the 3s, but we've used 10 electrons, so we only have 11, so we can only put 1 in the 3s. When sodium forms chemical bonds with things like oxygen or chlorine, it'll actually take this valence electron here, highest energy level, and it'll lose that. The other atom it bonds to, say chlorine, will get it. So we get rid of this 3s1, this one valence electron, and when we lose electrons, they're negative, so we lost a negative and we become positive. That's the ionic charge for sodium. Notice that the second energy level now, which is the highest energy level since we lost the 3, that has 8. That's the same electron configuration here as neon. This is a very stable configuration. And that's why sodium loses one valence electron when it forms ionic bonds. So you can either memorize these trends for ionic charge on the periodic table, or you can use electron configurations. Either way, sodium has a one plus ionic charge. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.